Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, October 12, 2022. We've been in this business for almost a decade and a half at this point, and I can't tell you how many times a boat's come in and the owner has proudly announced she's totally original. Well, there's original, and then there's original. This Century Cowhide Black Hulled Palomino defines original. What do I mean? See these seat cushions? The Holstein? Century seat cushions should have labels on them if they are original that say Fortier Upholstery Company, Manistee, Michigan. Guess what? They do. All of them. They are absolutely original. Every one of them still has its Fortier, whoops, even upside down. Fortier label on them. They have not been messed with once since 1956 when they left the factory in Manistee. The rubber trim, the kick panel in the aft cockpit, original. The ceilings, original the dashboard steering wheel floor shift compass century logo original the air guide trend uh, speedometer is new old stock it is the only item on this boat that was not on it the day she left Manistee. The crash pads, original. Now, what is particularly surprising is that I purchased her from her original owners who kept her since new in New Hampshire and didn't really use her very much. As a result, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. This is the original factory finish. All we did was to sand off with hand sanding and 400 grit paper. We just sanded the sheen off of the, the decks. We did not touch the original seam filling, the, the caulking that was applied. We did not touch any of these bungs, which are clay. We did not strip the black paint. Yes, we sanded it ever so lightly, applied three coats, refresher coats of black paint to the covering boards and to her hull. On the blonde decks, we applied three coats of Pettit Captain's Ultra Clear Varnish. We did not strip it. Here is a 1956, and if my arithmetic is correct, we're talking about a 68-year-old boat that still carries the same finish that was on her the day she left the factory in Manistee.
in 1956. We did the same here, just a little bit of sanding and we refreshed the varnish. The engine bay, especially down here, had chipped a little bit. So we in fact sanded this a bit more aggressively, but then painted it in the correct color. The Javelin, yes, that is the original engine that these people had installed on this boat in 1956, the day they bought it. Fran Secar, who is, in my world, a guy who walks on water when it comes to restoring outboard engines, he consistently wins the best of show for his outboard engine restorations at the Clayton, New York antique boat show every year. Now, Fran asked and we had to make a decision. Yes, you can see that this engine was used. You can see that, in fact, the wax I just put on it didn't, I didn't completely wipe off. But this engine is wearing its original paint all the way through and the engine itself when you take a look at what's underneath in addition to the stinky dryer pads uh, you should always these dryer sheets should be put in everything you're storing more than a few weeks critters love outboard engine enclosures. Fran commented that the trim on this engine is as pure. This is the original little bit of white paint that was put on the engine when Johnson made it. So this 30 horsepower Javelin is in fact not only the engine that was originally on this boat, all of its paint is original to the engine. Fran and I finally agreed that anytime anybody chooses to and ask him, he could touch this up and make it go away. There's a little tiny stain here that got on the boat at some point. The stern pole and flag, original. In fact, we didn't even touch this paint. We done, done nothing to this paint. All the hardware, of course, went to Mickey Dupuis, DNS Custom metal restoration in Holyoke, Massachusetts. I mean, this boat, as you can see, this boat was basically not used. The step pads show no sign of having been stepped upon. This is the original gasket. And she's riding on her teeny trailer with a, I always thought this particular nose wheel on, a, on the teenies was, was kind of cool. Um, you, it's not a jack, you can't take it up and down, but it does turn nicely and given its diameter, it rolls beautifully. We completely disassembled this teeny trailer. I mean, right down every nut, every bolt, every surface was sandblasted, primed, sanded, primed, sanded, till it was smooth. She is, still has her original rollers. And of course we have them set so they're way back close to the transom.
and then the engine hatch is of course also original original finish and it's kind of dark in here I'm not sure that the camera is going to pick it up but the floorboards are original that's original paint on these floorboards we did not paint the floorboards all we did was clean them so if you bleed century and I see that we we've just finished this boat we've got a little tiny bit of cleaning to do in these seams but other than that if you want an absolutely perfect 1956 century cowhide palomino I don't think you can do any better and now that she's fully restored original bergy pole original bergy original cut water original bow light original chalks original lifting rings she can be yours give us a call and we'll talk about how to make that happen so